It's Heath, I know. It's, it's hard. And I have a passing resemblance to a Hollywood movie star. Uh, raise your hand if you think I look like Ben Stiller. Anyone? Yeah? Okay, I know. Complexity. Competition. Commodification. The changing marketplace. Think about all of the challenges ahead. Now imagine. Close your eyes if you have to. Imagine one year from now, you are sitting in the 2016 National Sales Conference. Imagine what you're doing differently. How can you supercharge your efforts to deliver on the mandates that have been set forth in front of you today? Market share, revenue growth, B2B, partnership growth, new products, security, loyalty, retention. You are a winning team. But how are you going to make it, as they said this morning, how are you going to get to the Super Bowl? It's not about throwing out what you've done before, it's about making small changes. And that's what I want to share with you over the next 40, 40, 45 minutes. Small changes that you can make that are going to have an enormous impact on your results, an enormous impact on your ability to deliver tremendous value to your customers that you want and will put first. How are we going to operate? How are we going to put customers first? How are we going to differentiate ourselves in this crowded, competitive marketplace? You're already doing a lot of good things strategically. I want to supercharge that. I want to fuel that. I want to, I want to give you some ideas about a concept that's, I admit, it's fuzzy. It's soft. It starts with T and it ends with T. Five letters. Think about a person with whom you have a high level of trust. Think about a customer that you may be a trusted advisor to, that you have that relationship. What's it like to work with that person? It could be a colleague, it could be internal, it could be a customer. What's it like to work with that person? When I say go, I want to give you 30 seconds, turn to the person next to you, or behind you, if there's no one next to you. Take 30 seconds, describe, use a few words. What's it like to work with that person? Go. Okay. This is going to be interactive. I'll try to repeat. You can belt it out if you need to. I heard people say they're payment ready, so I know there's some voices in the room. Give me some words. What did your partner tell you about what it's like to work with someone with whom you have a high degree of trust. What were some words that came out? How were some descriptions? Just ra raise your hand so I can see where that's coming from. Over here. Comforting. Fantastic. Over here. Easy. I love it. Right here. Refreshing. Awesome. I love that word. There was a hand here. Yes. Safe. I love it. These are great words. What else? What else came out? Personal connection. Real. There were some voices here. Confident, great. These are all the things that we want with our customers. These are all the things we want with our colleagues. You can't argue with this stuff. Now, I have the list, the advantages of being trusted. Look at this list. Did these come up in your conversations? If you're thinking about the trust equation, because there's one more element, and it's an element that people don't think about, but it builds on everything that you've talked about today. It builds on responsiveness. It builds on the idea of customers first. It builds on the idea of everything that you're doing to serve your customers. And it's three times more important than the others because it's the denominator. And we call it self-orientation. And it's the idea that you want to have low self-orientation. This is the idea, what's your intent? What's your motive? And it's all based on perceptions. Remember I said before, it's fuzzy. This stuff is so fuzzy. And in Seth's presentation this morning, you saw all of those things come up. Being genuine, being authentic. Didn't matter, millennials, X, boomers, they're looking for that transparency, that looking for that sense of service. Are you serving them? Do you have their best interests at heart? Influence is at the core of everything that we do when we're interacting with other people. And trust is the foundation of that effective, positive influence. So, two principles of ethical influence that I want to share with you today that I believe will supercharge your efforts, that I believe will help you activate, that will fuel all of the work that you do in 2015. So the first one is called reciprocity. It's this notion that people give back to those who have given to them. 
That's where the service comes in. People will give back to you if you have given to them first. The second is the notion of consistency. Now, I know consistency is easy to confuse with your consistency. I'm really talking about your customer's sense of consistency. Nobody wakes up in the morning wanting to be like George Costanza in that episode of Seinfeld doing the opposite. We want to be consistent. So how can you build on that? How can you align what you want with what they want? How can you make sure that customers follow through? How can you make sure that they make a commitment? Tie that commitment to consistency. And then perhaps the most important one of all, people always ask me, how do I make them feel? How do I make a customer feel? How do I make a colleague feel like it was their idea? And I have the answer. I just, I just can't make money off of it because it's simple, but hard to implement. And the simple way is you have to ask questions because questions is what creates ownership, influence, and relationship, and relationships. It's not about push, it's about pull. You wanna pull it out of them. A trusted advisor asks questions so that their customers don't feel like they've been forced into something, they haven't been coerced, they haven't been intimidated. They've actually, they have ownership over it. And that, that's something that three years down the line can improve your loyalty and retention. Because people have made an active choice in your direction. So now when people, t people ask you, they say, how was the conference? How did it go? You can genuinely tell people that it brought you to your feet, it opened your eyes, it turned you around, and it touched your heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.